Horizon, an American Horizon, an American Saga, Chapter One, was directed, co-written, and stars Kevin Costner. And this is a passion project of his that he's been wanting to develop for a long, long time. And is a story that's going to be told in four parts. This movie is coming out right now at the end of June. Chapter Two is going to come out in August, and it covers America pre and post Civil War as many are moving to the Old West and trying to settle over there, and the trials and tribulations that come along with that, especially when it comes to the original custodians of that land, the indigenous population, and a bunch of stories involving a bunch of characters over there that, you know, how each of them is dealing with all kinds of strifes. This is a movie that I was actually really excited for because I have just recently watched all of Yellowstone and of course having seen stuff like Dances with Wolves. Kevin Costner and Western are two things that for me just seem to be perfect. And I really enjoyed watching all of Yellowstone. And when I found out he's not coming back for the last bit of Yellowstone, it's, you know, whatever, uh, very sad. <laughs> and I was a little crushed about it. But if it enables him to follow his dreams, then, you know, all the better for it. With Horizon, you get something that is extremely ambitious. You can clearly tell that this is something he's been wanting to make for a long time. And one of the best things that I can say about Chapter 1, just having seen this, is that that passion is visible from every single person involved in it. It is very clear that this is a massive labor of love and a lot is being done to make this as impressive and epic as possible. And in that sense, I really have to commend and respect the movie. It's a little tough to talk about the entire experience because it's very much not the entire experience. There is very clearly a part one syndrome with this movie. And by that, I mean it is very much a setup film. It is building to a much grander story with a lot more going on. And even though this movie clocks in at three hours, there's a lot more that they have still got to show you. And you've only really gotten the bare bones minimum when it comes to just understanding it. In that sense, I can only talk about what I think of it so far. And once chapter two comes out and there's a somewhat conclusion to this arc, I'm assuming, because three and four are now being made. So up until chapter two, I'll have some kind of basis. Until then, I'm just going to say what my thoughts are on it so far. Currently, I think there's a lot that's, you know, still in progress. But even then, you can very clearly tell that this is something that really has everyone's hearts in it. In that sense, it's got its issues, but while it does have those things, it's it's hard not to feel that kind of respect towards the project as a whole. Yes, there are some glaring issues throughout the movie. It definitely could use a lot of work when it comes to storytelling, structuring, pacing, dialogue, those major components of some of, you know, filmmaking. Yes, absolutely. There are issues across the board over there. There's a lot that the film is trying to juggle. Not all of it comes together very cohesively, at least not yet. There's a lot of moments of dialogue with characters. Some of it's great. Some of it is extremely wonky. It really feels like a throwback movie of sorts in that sense, which is a paradoxical issue to have because then I'm also saying it very much feels like an old school Western, which is a pro that I have of the movie. It's again, like I said, it's a very strange critique that I'm giving over here. But it really does feel like a throwback in the best ways possible. This really feels like a movie that was made in like the 1950s and 60s being released in 2024. In fact, there are certain scenes over here that I was genuinely surprised I was seeing on the big screen in 2024. In the same year, in fact the same week, that we're getting movies like A Quiet Place Day One, or you know, we just had Inside Out Two, and uh, you know, we're getting a Deadpool movie like in a few weeks. It's kind of crazy, you know, to to have this over there. And I, I really, I, I admire the fact that we are getting a chance to see a movie which is so personal. The cinematography and the production design is absolutely gorgeous. This is a beautiful looking movie. The score is also such a throwback to the era of Westerns that has come before. You really have to commend that. 
And I think the performances from everyone are extremely committed. I think Costner is really, really great. Sienna Miller is great. Sam Worthington is great. Michael Rooker is great. I mean, the ensemble cast from them to Jenna Malone to um, Isabel Furman to um, Jamie Campbell Bauer. Everybody's really, really great in this movie. And all of them are to be commended on everything that they're doing to make this feel as real and lived in as possible. I mean, it really feels like this journey through the Old West that you're going through as you're watching the movie. And I can't wait to see what's going to be in chapter two. But again, it feels like this is not really a review. This is more just a summation of my thoughts so far. And I'm very excited to talk about it when we get to August because I'm sure I'm going to have a lot more thoughts on it. But as of right now, despite those issues, I am looking forward to where the story goes next. And I will show up for them. I want to see the rest of these movies. There's a lot riding on this. I do know that whatever Costner put into making this happen was extensive. I mean, he really put everything on the line to make this movie. So I do recommend going and checking it out. And, you know, hopefully you guys enjoy the movie. And uh, if you do, that'd be great. And I mean, yeah, uh, I guess he's... This, this does mean a lot to him. Like, if nothing else, like I said, that is such a big pro that I do want to give it. Like, you can, it's very rare sometimes, especially in the current climate where you look at movies and you go, that is a man's, that is one person's vision. And in this particular case, you can very clearly see like the very singular vision, a very singular thing driving it forward. And so, I look forward to talking about the second chapter in August. The way the movie ends, I'm not going to talk about it, but my friend and I genuinely, I thought, we thought it was just like amazing. Uh, and not, not, you know, in, in like, you know, you'll have to just see it to know what, what I'm talking about. But it does set up a very exciting continuation of the story. That is what I'll say about that. And so I'm going to leave it right over here uh, and I'm going to open the floor to you guys. Let me know what you guys thought of Horizon and American Saga Chapter 1. And uh, <laughs> leave, my, uh, leave the thoughts in the comments below. Guys, thank you very much as always for watching. Look forward to more videos very soon. And as always, if you like this, please do subscribe. And I'll see you guys at the movies.